the cost of transportation, food, utilities, and petroleum products have all gone up. But your salary seemingly has not budged. Following the announcement of the increase in the price of bread, effective January 1, 2023, Opposition MP Bradley Felix challenged the government to offset the blow by implementing a minimum wage on island. Price of goods are going up, but the uh, uh, people's income are not going up. And so if there was a, a, a sort of a trade-off with, you know, um, government um, implementing a minimum wage increase, maybe, you know, it could be justified. Recently, Labor Minister Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot informed the public that a livable wage commission has been charged with devising the framework for a sectoral-based livable wage system. One of the stakeholders on this commission is the St. Lucia Employers Federation. We expect that there would be a review of wages, um, either through the provisions of legislation, and in this case, there is legislation that says, that guides minimum wages in St. Lucia. And we do not believe it has been revised for a fairly long period. Executive Director Jerome Jules says the Commission has commenced work on recommendations for consideration by the Cabinet. The work has started. It is a process. If you want the Commission to arrive at a fair and equitable minimum wage, then it will take some time because we need to examine the data. If the data is not currently available, then you need to generate that data and look at it and, and, um, and let it guide us in terms of um, what would be the new minimum wage in St. Lucia. Jules reveals that the Minimum Wage Commission is examining a dual minimum wage system for the island's workforce. For the sake of argument, the minimum wage of somebody who works in a gas station, given the effort that is required, may be different to the minimum wage that somebody who works in the distributive trades or somebody who works in a bakery or somebody who works in, in the tourism sector. So I believe the, the, the commission, um, given this mandate, will not only be examining and arriving at recommendations for a national minimum wage, but we shall also be looking at the sectoral minimum wages where we think that is applicable. According to the International Labour Organization, ILO, a national minimum wage has only one rate applicable to all workers of a country, and a sectoral wage system is a structure to protect workers through collective agreements and a statutory minimum wage in low-paying sectors, where no collective bargaining takes place. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.